Hi, Dice Equestrians. This episode is brought to you by our brilliantly nerdy friends at Die Hard Dice. Omar, behold these glorious dice. Behold them. Oh my god. I love the polymer ones with the signature Avalor design and these blunted edges. No, 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 no touchy. No, touchy. What, what are you, what are you, no, no, what are you doing? No touchy. Look, we're gonna we're gonna at intermission, yeah. we're gonna play a little game with them. Oh, okay. okay. Is that what the squid is for? Yeah, the squid hat? Yes, yeah. it is. It's um, it's the squid of squalor. Okay. Okay. And yes. You're gonna have 30 seconds to roll a nat 20, lest you succumb to whatever fate you pull from the squid of squalor. So choose your d20 wisely, dude. Okay, but how about if I do roll a d20, then you have to do it? Fine. Okay, great. I'm well, in. We'll see you at intermission. Welcome to This Equest episode five, and welcome, Erica, to Hello. the tea kettle. Cheers. I need to get into this chai. Mm. I'm excited mm. to get into this chai and into this game. Now, where our adventurers have left off is is pretty bleak. And oh! I think they definitely are going to need your help. Did Zephy do a number on them? She did. <laughs> yeah. She attacked them. Had a girl. We had a malevolent spirit in a dread domain. But a friend of the party, one named Mir, essentially took the place on this rot throne, taking over the Dread Domain, granting our adventurers safe passage for now. They still need help getting to this mountain, Rock Dibba. Mm -hmm. There slumbers the goddess Silsalon, without whom the Harvest Festival cannot begin, which you're an expert in. Oh, yes, absolutely. I stage manage the hell out of that thing, <laughs> usually, every year. A good friend of yours, Bria, a benefactor of the arts, has arranged for you to whisk these adventurers away towards the mountain, hoping that maybe you can help each other and hoping that maybe you can remind them of the importance of Rangali. But there are challenges along the way. Now there's this group called the Rachnid Court, a little bit misunderstood. Rachnid! Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wow, yeah. You might be able to barter with them to help them get up the mountain, which, between you and me, our group has not been the greatest at diplomacy thus far. Oh, no. They have traveling with them a young uh, witch streamer. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, instead of Twitch streamer, I did witch streamer and then immediately regretted it, but... Uh... <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that we have a social media influencer yes. on, the, uh, on the team? Who specializes in paranormal content. <gasps> oh. And she, was, she tried to befriend a ghost in order to make her videos better, but this ghost, Sefi, turned on the party mm. and things went south. But this well-meaning witch streamer, Natasha, is going to try to help our party navigate this deep, dark, flooded forest they find themselves in now. I think with your help, they can make it to Rock Dippa. I think with your help, they might be able to make it out of the foothills of the Mahan Khat to the upper reaches. Oh yeah, easy peasy. Well, I look forward to seeing you out there. Yes! Welcome to episode five of This Sequest. Welcome, players. Hi. How are you doing? Oh. Spooky. Different seats. 
Good to see you. Good to see you. Sad to see where we are. Natasha already placed upon the board. Mm. You emerge from the pit trap. The good side of the pit trap, the side you want to be on. Mm -hmm. The other side's not a great side to be on. And you come to the horrible realization that your friend in the mirror has granted you passage out of this domain of dread. An otherwise very difficult region to exit from. He has taken up residence as the lord of this domain, a sacrifice to help you on your way. Oh, no, Mira. Sunlight filtered through the boughs of the trees envelops you in an almost emerald light, reflecting off of the slowly trickling waters of the river Soha. The smell of mulch, the sound of mosquitoes gently buzzing, things are peaceful, a stark contrast to the nightmare from which you have just emerged. You still vaguely hear the sounds of some strange, ghostly creature moaning below before fading into the darkness. And you see Natasha sitting near the edge of the pit trap, tears welling at her eyes. I, I look at the statue of Namir and look at her and I go to her and I ask, you're going to be okay, are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. I just feel really bad because she was my friend. And I'm sorry that she hurt you all, but I don't think she was a bad person. Darling, I don't think she was either. And it wasn't your fault. Sometimes good people are driven to do bad things because they, they are in so much pain that they don't know what to do with it. And it erupts out of them in ways that they can't predict. It's not your fault. I thought by modifying her memory, maybe it would help her. And instead, I messed things up even more and almost got everyone killed. You did what you did. But also, like, you're really bad at the, at the, you know, ghost hunting business, so you should leave it to the professionals. I think that accusing Leduanti of that is incredibly cruel. Leduanti almost think... died. Darling. L Leduanti yeah. comes and hugs her, don't cry, don't cry. It's okay, it's okay. You did not, hey, I'll say something I've never said in my entire life. It is not your fault. <laughs> but you, you're bleeding. You don't worry about that. Just want to remind you that you said it was not my fault down in the chamber. It doesn't but, okay, matter, yeah. that is the past. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Laduanti looks towards Sitara and is just disgusted with herself because she hurt you. I, Sitara, I am so sorry. I am a bad auntie. I, and she like breaks down crying. No, 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 no. I, uh, I don't say anything. I just walk over to her and put my hands on her shoulders. I cast cure wounds. <sighs> I think it's just first level, right? Yeah, it's a little something, yeah? And, uh... My tears got caught in my lashes. It's like a sponge that keeps soaking them up and then they get heavier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't waste the pretty, darling. Keep them up here. <laughs> Come on, right here, right here. You dab. That's, so a, that's a, a, a tip from a professional. That's what you leave to the professional. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, Auntie, I know that wasn't you. None of what happened down there was... <sighs> Whatever happened down there, we're here now. The way that you tended to Natasha, you auntied her. Where do you think I learned it from? <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to give me a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to give, I'll explode on impact. Don't <laughs> give me a compliment. I start to laugh and then I glance over and I see... He's a statue now, yeah? I see the statue of Namir. Uh, I'm 
walk over and kneel in front of it. There's, there's plant life integrated with it, right? You said moss and... Moss, um, lichen. In fact, his normal hair is replaced with like lichen, a lichen crown. I am going to cast Speak with Plants. <sighs> and I'm going to put my hands on his knees. What did you do? You have been kind. You have been wise. You've made a sacrifice we never would have asked you to make. You told me once about where I didn't belong. And now I understand where I do. I had hoped you would be a part of that, but you did say you loved the moss and the lichen and the, the creatures. So I hope where you are, wherever you are, you are home too. If you ever need us, we are here. And thank you. Make a religion check with advantage. Seventeen. Gain the boon of Namir. That is the longest boon <gasps> that one can acquire in the game. All right, guys, we have to move fast. Let's go. <laughs> As you say this, you hear a voice coming from down the river in a canoe, and you see a familiar figure. Yeah. yeah. Her lehenga tied into a makeshift dhoti, her dupatta kind of like tucked into the side so that she's donned a sort of sporty look. She calls out to you and she goes, Sitara, Didi, are you quite all right? Don't worry, I took care of the cottage. <laughs> you know, the one that you ripped up. It's fine, they're fine. I paid them off. <laughs> I've never been so happy to see you in my life. You look, oh, you look all the, oh, I've, I've brought, well, there's someone who very much wants to see you. Uh, okay. You see, things are getting quite bad uh, back in town. With the, the, the Harvest Festival, with Rangali being put on the back burner, things are getting very bad. And I want, I want to introduce you to someone. And she motions to someone in the canoe behind her. Will our guest join us at no. the table, please? No, I'm gonna scream. Ah! 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 I brought a friend! Yes, I yes, brought yes, a friend! Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. First, Sefi, and now Erica. Yes! Wow. She. Bria gestures in her new sort of safari look in the canoe behind her and says, you simply have to meet my very good friend, Nuri. Nuri, um, these are the people I was telling you about, you know, the ones that you had a bit of umbrage with, or rather you wanted to enlist the help. I, I don't quite remember. You, you said that there's something wrong with the play? Yes, and that it's not happening. Uh, oh, right. Yes, 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 yes. We, some of them are tourists. They might not know about the... Forgive them. Truly, it's a vision, and you're a vision in it. But I feel like maybe... Thank you. That's quite fine. Hello, um, I'm Nuri Gafur, and I am basically in charge of making sure that the show goes on. Ooh. So I am told that you have a little trouble with doing that yourselves, but less, less in the show business sense, and more in the you all look rather... Well, sense. I immediately like shape change, so I look a little bit better than I looked before. Like a little bit, a little bit glowier. Can't see that I'm probably bleeding out of every limb at this point. Uh, like, everything is I like, feel like you were gonna say something. I was gonna say, I'm embarrassed. Yeah. Let's admit it, but like she's not looking. But yeah, I kind of cleaned myself up. <laughs> you must be Satara then. Yes. That's all right. Um, and I rummaged around in a, a, a pouch of mine, and I pulled out a flower for you. Flower, yes. Oh. That's good. A little bit of refresher. Thank um, you. Let's see, uh, Ash is my guest. Uh, yes, hi, hello. Hello. Nice to um, meet you. All right, very good, very good. Um, and you can do things with 
healing your, your parents are? Yes, my parents are healers. And, uh, you? and I am by trade. Uh, I follow my parents, you know, I kind of had to do <laughs> yeah, what they wanted me to do, so oh, yes. I see. Um, and then, uh, Auntie, yes. And, uh, are you uh, Murka, yes. Uh, yeah, the uh, present. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, it seems like we were a bit of a time crunch here. Yes, Priya, we are. So. Well, uh, you see, I've brought Nuri to help us on this grand adventure of trying to get Silsalon down from the mountain. Now, I know that you were going there for your own reasons, but things have gotten quite bad in Lakpan. You see, uh, there's this idea that there's this Rachnid court out here, and that they are the ones that have tried to um, do something to the goddess, or that they're sabotaging the goddess, and that's why she hasn't come down. But R Rangali, it's, it's not just about the harvest, it's about people coming together, joining hands to defeat an evil. And the beautiful demonstration of this is, is done by Nuri. And, and Nuri has some relationship to, to the mountain and to the entity there, don't you? Uh, yes. Um... You see, every year uh, the goddess comes down and does our little play. Um, this year has uh, been a bit of a uh, cluster show. Oh, do you world. need an understudy? Because I'm ready. Uh, uh, for the goddess? Do we need an understudy for the goddess what? of chaos and entropy? She's very good. I, I mean, I am, I am... People have told me that my performances are positively transcendent. Well, you know, I will put your uh, name and uh, picture in if you wish. Mm. But uh, for now, I, my best guess is that we should go find uh, the goddess, get up the mountain, which, oh, I pull out a, a chai, like a steaming chai. Oh, oh, so okay. Know oh, where. okay, all right. Wow. Hard to get started now, wow. thank you. Uh, it smells okay. Is it an, adu <laughs> <laughs> is it an adult chai? Can we, uh, it is a healing one. Yes. Mm. 2d4 plus three. Good. Oh. Right. Um, Nuri is, uh, in return for me, kind of helping fund the arts and the theatre business in, in Vivane, Nuri is a devotee of Silsalon and um, is, bears a small vestige of her power, like a, a fingernail, truly. But, you know, if anyone can go speak with her or see why she hasn't come down from the mountain or help her, Nuri is the person to get you there. She's chosen, and I took it upon myself to bring her here to you. Bria. I, I, you've helped be on compare. The ship? N Nuri? I, I mean, this world, all we can do is help each other. If we don't, who will? People will starve. It's not about me and it's not about you anymore. This is bigger than all of us now. We must get the goddess down from the mountain. The show must go on. The play's the thing. Thank you so much for the introduction. Um, well, shall we? What, what does Nuri look like? Um, mm. And as I uh, step out of the boat, uh, you can see that I am tall and sharp and sleek. Um, I am of a perfectly tailored two-piece suit um, with the high mandarin collar, mm -hmm. which is... A Shervani. Oh. Oh. Very nice. Um, very nice. Very oh. just for the occasion. Mm. Yes, very, very much. It's immaculate, a very crisp. I have light olive skin, but with a bit of a copperish patina. Mm -hmm. And out of my head, you can see coming blue flames leap out. Ah. But instead of the crackling Mary sort of normal uh, flames that you might see from a uh, flame genasi, this is just the most controlled blaze you have ever seen. It's like the center of a stove. Yeah. Or a gas range. Oh. Yeah. Like a gas range where it's oh, just, like, yeah. it's just like, so yes. good. Yes. Um, like so. pulled back sleek. Aww. Somehow I have made sleek fire wow. out of my hair. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. My posture. Yeah. I have to talk about that effect for my next film. Uh, it's very, very impressive. Wait, thank you very much. It's, uh, well, um, you all seem to be doing. You need a nap. You need a nap and a snack. I could a rest. And oh. Yes. Oh, I can make snacks. Very good. Well, I don't want to take anything edible around. She's going to make a curry that she'll then make into dolkla that she'll then make into <laughs> honey, <laughs> that she'll then make into sandwiches. She is like the queen pretzels? of recycling leftovers. You can't wait, trust me. As you talk about taking a nap, Bria takes her dupatta that's been tucked into her langa, which mm -hmm. is tied up as like a little pants, and throwing it in a circle 
It lands first on the ground unceremoniously and then rises into a small tent as she casts Leoman's tiny hut. Oh! Rhea, I have to apologize to you again. For what? We've always been such good no, friends. When I, when we left on this journey, I told them that I was worried about you hurting yourself. I didn't want you to get into danger. And so we should go without you. But now I know you are perfectly capable of taking care of yourself. Well. <laughs> Accept the compliment, Maria. <laughs> I'm working on that. Um, thank you. Mm. You're a very good girl. I'm going to go into this tent and take a nap. Is that fine? You see that it, the inside of the tent and the outside is adorned like a dupatta. Okay. It has yeah. gold embroidery on it. Gorgeous. It is bright red. And as you step inside, you have safe sanctuary. Excellent. Long rest? Long or Long short. Long rest or Do you want to take, do you want to spend eight hours? I, I would love to. <laughs> I, I can take a, a, a night shift. I, I'm oh. absolutely fresh. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. And I will take the first, or I will just take the watch. Mm -hmm. and oh, thank I, you, Nora. Yeah. I'm just going to uh, thank you so much. I'm going to lay down, have Chotu just kind of snuggle up with me. Oh, you haven't seen Chotu. I'll show you a picture. Um, and Chotu uh, uh, just snuggles, like, uh, spins around like a, like a dog and snuggles up like spoons there. And uh, I'm going to sleep. During the rest, Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if I, if Ash could sneak a moment with Natasha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could do so before the rest, too, if you'd like. As, everybody, as, as everybody's settling in, I yeah. sort of sidle up next to Natasha. Mm -hmm. So this device that you use to speak to your I, f fans? Well, I don't like to call them that. They're my audience. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> they are all over the world. Well, all over Vihar. Do you think there's a way I could send a message through it to to my, my family? Oh, yeah. Where's your family at? Well, they're not in Vahar. Oh. They're, they're in Bracewald. It's oh. quite far from here. Oh. Well, I could try to send a message to them. Can you tell me what they look like? My partner, Liesel, is uh -huh. a, a wood elephant. She's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> She's two flowing braids uh, that are blonde and uh, uh -huh. just an, a forever smile pasted on her face. <laughs> uh, and uh, she has a little birthmark right here, uh -huh. like in a crescent shape. Uh -huh. Maybe that helps. And then my, uh -huh. I have a son. His oh. name is. His... You left your kid? Yes, I had to. To come here? To save the goddess? That's so brave! Uh, you know, I'm sure she'll reward you. Hmm. I just, I don't even know why I'm here. I oh. just, I just knew I had to be here. Hmm. Well, that's a reason, though. Yes. Yeah. And was, Duh. <laughs> so I just, I, I don't know how dangerous this adventure is that we Probably are. pretty dangerous. Yeah, I'm guessing. It's been pretty rough yeah. so far. I just want Abby to know and Liesel to know that I love them and I will be back as soon as I can. That, that's it. Ah, oh, that's mushy, but it's cute. You can add some of your, I, I noticed these fun little characters that you put in to your, uh, your, your, tech, your, your words on the screen. If you, you can add some of that, if you like. Like a banana or something. He loves bananas. Okay, I'll add a banana. Okay, great, thank you. <laughs> Make a performance check to see how well you described Liesl. Mm hmm Yeah, six. <laughs> yeah, she can send a short message to someone with which she's familiar, but she has a hard time establishing connection. And instead, well-meaningly, she's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, na 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 I can't really reach her right now, but I have something better. <clears throat> hey, y'all, it's Natasha. Um, if anyone knows a Liesl or an Abhi all the way oh. from Brazel World, oh, 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 no. make sure you let them know that Ash loves them. Oh, you. Ash, your daddy <laughs> loves you. He loves you so much. <laughs> He's risking his life for your legacy. And Liesl, I don't know you, and I've heard that you're white, but I'm sure that you're <laughs> great! 
I've heard wood elves are great people. I'm sure you'll get access to health care soon. You, could you, Bye! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's private, I right? Have quite, I have quite a large audience. Oh, I'm God. sure someone from your family will see this. Oh, my God. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ash just throws up. Um. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure someone I will really, pass the message to them. Hoping for a private message, like a direct message, not what, sort yeah, of a public. But I couldn't get an answer. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, but well, why? So can you undo, like you just sort of no, undo it? No, but why? Or... Why is that so bad? My... I'm sure someone will, from someone from your family will see it. No, and I, that's, show it that's, to that's, them. that's why it's so bad. I don't why? want my parents to know. Why don't you want your parents they... to know? <laughs> I've never told them about it, Abby. What? You probably should have told me that. Yeah, I guess so. I didn't think you were going to do it publicly. You didn't tell? Well, I didn't. I didn't. It's oh, okay. No. You, it was. But you know what? It's okay. You know what, though? This way, you don't have to tell them. They just have to accept it. And so when you do talk to them, they'll have had time to sit with it. <laughs> <laughs> No. 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 People from my generation don't sit with it, they seethe with it. I'm sorry, Ash, I just kind of thought maybe the word would get back to them. No, you, did, you didn't do anything wrong. It's, uh... I'm sorry, Ash. It's okay. Um, it's okay. I, uh, I'm just gonna go. Hey, Ash's parents, if you're watching oh, no. this. That's not gonna um... happen either. <laughs> Uh, Ash is a good boy, and um, I was lying about the kid. It was a, oh, no. uh, it was a practical joke, but also up here, Daddy loves. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm just gonna take my my rest now. I <laughs> have no words. Did, no words. Did I do a bad? Did no, I... you did a great job. Yeah, oh, okay. it was very enjoyable. <laughs> Did you like the show? Very good. Ash is gonna go hyperventilate in the corner. <laughs> this is like when you when your parents call you and your friends start moaning in the background and you're busy. Uh, Has that ever happened to you? Uh, you're, yeah. Moaning? Yeah, they'll start moaning in the background like not, you're up to uh, no like, good. Not yeah. moaning, but to, I'm like, I have I will exit the room. I mm. have to. I yeah. Cannot, I will. Oh, FaceTime. You're gonna see a blank white wall, so you don't see anybody, anything. <laughs> I'm not even doing anything, but my mom will. Who's that? Your friends are like, ah. Uh, who's, who's that boy? 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 Uh, nobody. It was nobody. <laughs> a stranger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Home. <laughs> so good. He got a ball. Energy at the table. Parallel. Right? Yeah. The party settles down to go to sleep, mm -hmm. leaving you and Bria at the entrance to the tent, keeping guard. Bria sits with a cup of tea. Her cat familiar comes out from underneath her linga and like sits. She pets him self, like kind of like subconsciously or worriedly, maybe like a little too, a little too fast. You can tell she's nervous. I take the cat out of her lap <laughs> and I hand her a, like a little squeezy. A little squeezy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I give the, the cat like I, I'm dang, I dangle a little piece of string for the cat. Mm. Wow. Take care of talent. This is good. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad to be here too. I appreciate that you use your resources and your energy, um, such that it is, uh, for really taking care of your community. Well, if we don't do it, who will? It's true. And you know, um, a party of adventurers isn't always the answer, you know. Well, what else could have been the answer? Just gradual little efforts here and there by the entire community. Not everybody's as giving as you are. Everybody loves to show up for the parties and for the big spectacle, but the daily work of it is a little harder. I do think you're right, Neri. 
as you're playing with the cat, um, you notice something tucked into its collar. Come here. Come here. Oh, no. Come here. <laughs> Cursed cat. <laughs> Oh, Erica! <laughs> Does anyone want to explain? Oh, I don't know. I'm asleep. We're asleep. Hey, it's, hey, guess what? It's Beats dope. me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I know, but can I, I also don't. Can I see it? Maybe I'll know in season yeah. two. Oh, oh shit! Oh. You get, I think you get a little. Um, you get some wounds, and you get to go into this room and have private conversations with Jasmine that none of us are privy to. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you're just kind Maybe of above board yeah. stuff. I know. You know. All right. Right. I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Sorry about it. And if you're cheat, you get one. <laughs> we haven't, but, but we haven't, but we, we two haven't, haven't got one. No. So, so. so. Well, listen, Rick, uh, I told you the reason why. I didn't want to say it. Yeah, it's if you're No, but you said if you're cute. If, you you're, if you're being cute. Yeah, you get one. And I feel like we, we would have like 10. <laughs> oh, why oh you, yeah. Jasmine, why are you laughing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All the times you guys were being cute. Yeah, there was tons of times. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty darn cute when he was talking yeah. about his son. I will say that. Yeah, Molly, can you can you bring us the list of all the times we were cute? We're, we're yeah. flying the cute list. <laughs> <laughs> the cute Molly. counter. Oh, I'm sure Bacha has one. I'm sure Bacha have a cute list. Yeah. Oh, Actually, majesty. you do notice that Bacha is sleeping probably very comfortably oh. next to Murka. Oh, Even no. though Butcha cannot sleep, so he's just, just he goes to comfort, like, yeah. snuggled yeah. up to comfort you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, lays me. down this little mechanical what red panda, booty. lays down, curls its tail up, and then you just see two LED lights, <laughs> yeah. like like little little crystals thrumming with electrical energy, they're probably like staring spinning. at you. They're, 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 they're spinning, so they're like loading. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like that's sleeping. That's okay. Pardon? <laughs> just oh, kind of creep uh, me out a little bit. Butcha lights out. Papa, mm -hmm. I don't want to sleep. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 all right. I'll be done. Right. Not I'll, sleepy. All right, Not Uncle Ash will read you a story. Thank you for volunteering. <laughs> I'll read you a story, yes. You know, and then I do. I read them a story. <laughs> <laughs> How much time do we got? <laughs> You've got 25 words. After that, Butcha's attention wanders. Yeah. It's his generation. <laughs> Story mode initiate. Sits cross-legged in front of you. The two ears flopping back and forth. No. Here's a story that my son likes. Does that count? Not yet. <laughs> There's a little girl. Her name is Luna. She looks up at the moon. And she says, I want to go to the moon. It's impossible, says her parents. It's impossible, says her friends. Get three more words. <laughs> three words. The reflection <laughs> in the lake. <laughs> in the lake. I'm taking extra words. Shows the moon, mm -hmm. and she jumps in and plays on the moon that night. Mm -mm. What do you say, Butcha? Thank you, Uncle. Uncle Tearlist. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, middle. All right. Yeah, we're gonna There's away. a ranking of uncles. He was yeah. at the bottom. He was at the bottom. Not anymore. <laughs> he was the bad uncle for a while. Butcha demands silence. Silence mode activate. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good morals. <laughs> yeah, I kind of silence. <laughs> Right. Nuri, give me a perception check. Oh. Ooh, that's a 16 on the die, which means 18. You see them before they see you. Ooh. Oh, no. Let's just get some. What? I just... Don't do it. What are you? <laughs> I know you want to, but just like maybe not. Don't do it. You're all. Here in the tent, hanging out under Sleeping. Priya's linga. And two yeah. As you do. partiers come to have Hell a party. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's fun. 
she did say yeah. something. Yeah. Two hunks something come. about the rank neds. A hunks would be great. Give, give a little kiss. Yeah. Two hunks. Two hunks. Two hunks. Oh. Two hunks to come give everyone a little hey, kiss. Hey, are they? Hey, we're two hands and a hunk. Oh, my back God. Up. Lost my in the forest with so few kisses. A placeholder yeah. for... <laughs> It's just like into the woods. <laughs> <laughs> the princes appear. We don't give these kissies out. We get sick. We're Anyone want to help us stay healthy? <laughs> then you die. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Rest in peace. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> All right, friends. Shoto's tail has like covered my ears while we're sleeping, yeah. so that I can sleep peacefully. Mm. So everyone's talking so much. You see them before they see you. Ew. Oh, oh no. no! Hey, oh, guess what? Sh that sucks. That's a big spider, that yar. <laughs> that sucks too. Oh no! Oh, he's little. Nasty. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay, you see okay. two goblins Ew. chatting amongst themselves. One says to the other, and you you get this with your eighteen. You hear. Mm, I think. Uh, Someone else has done our work for us. Looks up at the sky. Uh, every fortnight, she rises. She's not here. You hear the other one say, hmm, we should keep watch regardless. They'll rise again, maybe just late. And you hear the first one say, we'll have to handle the interlopers. They're too close to the statue for comfort. That's what you hear transpire, just over the soft, gentle sounds of the river Soha laid out in front of you. You hear the skittering of the spider mount gently as it clacks its mandibles and stretches its legs. And then, kind of like rearing up, stretching, you hear a crack in its back, and then it settles back in to its first form. It's doing yoga. Huh? Tadasana. Yeah. We're not asleep, though, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. From behind Bria. No. no. Skittering over the moss with oh, ease. Oh no. You see. Eh. Hey, guess what? That sucks. <sighs> a phase spider. A phase spider? <gasps> Sorry, that's two You have in a row one thing you can do before it grabs her with that 18, and then we'll roll for initiative. Do rachnids speak a different language than the rest of the population here? What was it? They typically speak abyssal. Oh. Actually, have that. Great. Yeah. Um, so you understand what yes. they're saying. I go, uh, and in Abyssal, I say, hello, may we treat with whoever you represent? As you say that, the two turn and look at you inquisitively. And the phase spider launches down and grabs Brienne. No! Roll for initiative, everyone. Uh. Uh. Oh, yeah, there's a You've all enjoyed the benefits. Thank you. Of a long, oh, long rest. You, you get to add one. What? Two, I get to add two. Mine's nine. I'm 18 as well. We have twin initiatives. What, what's your dex? I'm 14. Mine's 16, so okay, I... Dirty 20. Amerka. What's your... Uh, 21. <gasps> oh, yeah! Whoa. Okay. Amerka, you are just rousing from sleep. Mm -hmm when outside the tent you hear the crash of a teacup and then you hear a <laughs> and then you hear a <laughs> as Bria is whisked away you hear a loud clittering of <laughs> and a clacking of mandibles what do you do i rush out and seeing this happen mm -hmm. Seeing that it's sort of like this natural, like we're not being attacked by like a military or anything like that. Like this is like a, a creature for the most part. Mm -hmm. I do some quick math and I turn to the statue of Namir mm. and I quickly touch his feet and grab a, mm. a stick that's laying by his statue. Mm -hmm. And I am using this as an arcane firearm. Mm. Ah. And, ah. and just like whisper, just like, 
I listen, and I'll turn, and I want to cast Catapult at level one at this creature. It's going to have to make a dex 14 save. Oh my god, that would be so sexy if he doesn't save. Stop flying. That would be so hot. That'd be so hot. Did you try? Maybe the hunks have been here the whole time. Yeah. The hunks are assholes. 11. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. That's going to be 3d8. Great. Six plus five. 11. 18. Uh, oh. Plus this damage, uh, that's 20 points of damage. Nice. 20 points of wow. damage. Bye. It is going to use its reaction to shoot its web at you. Mm -hmm. Make a dexterity save. You need to beat a 16. Okay. All right. Oof. Oof. Uh, that's uh, eight, eight total. <laughs> when it opens its maw and begins to shoot this web at you, that's not where the web comes from, baby. No, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm oh, saying. No. Oh, no. The web. This thing's sick. Yeah. The web kind of forms into these strange, skittering creatures that fly on the wind, this long, proboscis like tentacle coming out nope. of it. No, nope. 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 I don't like nope. proboscis. I don't like it. It's I a don't. proboscis. That's There's not, that's probosci. Not, that's, I, I veto that <laughs> entirely. Yeah, not this is not fan. reality. Not a fan. No. Nope. It latches onto you, mm -hmm. sucking your blood. Of course. <gasps> Everyone oh wants a little taste. For... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you take this as a compliment. <laughs> yeah. For seven piercing damage. Seven, OK. Yeah. And then dissolves back into silk threads and vanishes. Oh, OK, so I just took seven piercing and that's... Yeah. OK. okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, um, make get... a con save. A no. con save, OK. Yeah, is there something... Stuck in? Uh, 20, not 20, so wow. 22. All right. Yeah. You're good. Cool, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, <laughs> cool. You're like, why'd you say anything? Yeah. Why? Is that your turn? Um, I've got a bonus action. Yes. As I got bit uh, and blood is drawn. Just, ah, jeez. All right, let's go. And I'm going to click my tongue, and I've built a new cannon that's going to uh, come out and um, is going to blast those two. This is a flamethrower cannon. Uh, they've got to make dex 14 6. These two? Yeah. Oh. Dex 14. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right there by everybody. Um, the one on the left makes it. Okay. The one on the right does not. Okay, so uh, one of them the, that didn't save takes eight points of damage. Eight points Wire of damage. Wire damage. The other one takes four. All right. So that's it. That's my move. That's your move. Oh, you do do douse the two across the river with fire. You would notice that they go from like looking curious to like kind of taking battle positions since they believe they are under attack. It is your turn. <gasps> Did they respond in any way to my? Yes. To... They looked like they were about to speak back to you, and then this this chaos kind of broke out. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> so in, in that case, um, I shout an abyssal, halt, cease fire. I have my hand at my side, ready to draw if need be. Mm -hmm. But I ask, uh, may we treat with you? Make a persuasion check. Ooh, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on. OK, Come so on, let's see what that it, looks it, like. It, I it, have, it. I mean, I guess I don't know the, I don't know. I don't know the DC, mm -hmm. but. That is, oh, 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 come on. That's an 18 on the die plus seven. It's yeah, fine. Bow, 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 bow. Bow. Persuasive. Yeah, he, he calls back to you. Um, this is what you get because you're so high. He says, that Fae spider will take her to the Fae wild. Be careful. <gasps> <gasps> oh, shrimp. I translate all of this, like, word for word, complete with, like, little footnotes of, mm -hmm. you know, there's this one idiom that doesn't quite translate from oh, Abyssal, but, wow. you know, uh, <laughs> basically, this, this is what's going on. Also, I overheard that we are too close to the statue, that the goddess is... In, I, I relate everything, mm -hmm. wow. like, I word know. perfect. Mm -hmm. The, statue, the statue's a fit. Yeah. I don't... Yeah. If that's okay, <laughs> that will take your yes. action. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yes. 
You relay this information to the party. You notice Priya is now like bound Oof. as this thing has like yeah. begun to like actually use its abdomen to, you see like these, these like strange appendages start to burst out of the boobos on its back and ah. it starts to wrap Priya up, binding her so she cannot cast spells. It is then going to attack you since you attacked it. Yeah, bring it. Um, mm -hmm. it's, fine. it's going to lash out with both of its legs, trying to strike twice. That is a d20. I was like, that's a d12. The first one's definitely a miss. Okay. The second one is a 24. Oy. Oh, to hit? Yeah. That'll, okay, that'll hit. Even if my shield goes up, so I All won't right. activate that. Uh, yeah, joking. that hits. Are you joking? You yeah, take... I'm pretty sure that hits. <laughs> Seven piercing damage. Again. The two legs come out at you. You are able to duck under one, and the second one catches you in the side. We see a quick rivulet of crimson begin to gush <sighs> from Murka. But he holds strong. The face spider is then going to use its movement to skitter with preternatural speed as it can phase walk to here. Uh -huh. mm -mm. How many feet is that? It's supposed to be 80. I think mm. five, let's do five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, Jeez. 75. Yeah. Perfect. Wow. Nice <laughs> That's why you're the GM. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for noticing, Omar. Man, I wish I could math like yeah, that. Yeah, no, can't count. Ash, you're <laughs> up. The sounds of Butcha awaken you as Butcha goes, Papa. Papa, yeah. Papa. So, I'm in full dad mode at this point. No. I've told this kid a story, uh, like for all distress and mode activate. Papa, Papa. Yeah, yeah. Am I able to get to the? To How the much spider? movement do you have? I'm 20 wa walking speed, so I don't think you could get halfway there if you used your uh, movement and then used your action to dash. I want to use a second level guiding bolt mm -hmm. and try to. My hope is that I'll be able to hit this nasty little spider and somehow free Priya. That's. I want oh, to like try to. Oh, uh, okay. Good call. Uh, Priya. Out of them. Roll. Uh, this is a called shot, which nice. I I usually have. This is my house rule. I usually have you take a negative five modifier to your roll, but if you hit. The mandibles will open and Freya will be released. Oh, come on, baby. Okay, let's go for Did, it. Can anyone cast anything on it? Not during, no, not during battle. Not during. Mm -hmm. That's cool. If we have less, I got a plus eight, eight, so we'll see. I got 19. Five. To hit. 19 plus eight minus five, so 19 plus three. That's 22 to hit. Oh, 22 to hit. You hit, roll damage. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Boom. Do uh, it. Four D6s. Get them in the mandibles. Man the balls. Man the balls. 15 damage. 15. You see, as the guiding bolt strikes one of the arms holding Bria, it blows off and Bria comes tumbling out, still covered in this thick ichor that kind of shines with a bioluminescence in the sort of gloom you are in of pre-dawn. Make a deck save. 16? Meets it, beats Meets it. it beats so, it. yeah, no, the face spider hits. Oh, the face spider hits? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. have to be oh, a 16. It met you, it bet you. I... All right, so, once again, the web issues from its mouth and then forms into these small, fluttering creatures. Give me a nature check to see if you can identify what they are. Okay. It's a 19. Okay, let's see. Let's... Uh, only one of them is gonna hit you. Um, you identify them as they're streaming towards you to be silk sturges. It is similar to this blood-sucking creature that you sometimes see in the Underdark, but this one is formed of silk, and you would also know that they carry with them disease. You take four piercing damage, make a con save. As long as it doesn't hit butcha, I'm good. That's a five on the die. All right. You, as you pull the Sturge off of you and its proboscis retreats, you start to feel a warmth and a flush. 
begin to take hold where it was attached to you in your shoulder, and you start to feel a little feverish. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I get some of that on my shots when I traveled here, but <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think so. This one's gonna stick, you guys. Can I move first and yeah. then throw? Yes. Okay. So I will move towards this spider. 40 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay. And then I would like to throw a wondrous Ludu. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. A bag of tricks Ludu. Mm -hmm. Do I get to roll for the monster or do you have a monster that's already there? Um, I have a couple of <gasps> monsters that are here. Roll to see how good the monster you get is. Oh, cool. Okay. While she's figuring that out real quick, I still had movement, right? Can I move towards the, yeah. the spider? You only have 20 feet, right? Yeah. Just put me towards, uh, like, wherever Ledu's going. 5, 10, 15, 20. Move you here. Number two. Two. Um... And I can tell you what it says on my list. Yeah, yeah, what it says on your list. It says it would be an owl. <laughs> yeah! Here we go. Bring the birds. Birds eat hey, spiders. Birds. Yeah. Yeah. You throw it 20 feet. I throw it 20 feet towards Five, the spider. 10, 15, 20. Oh, there's your owl. Nice. Oh, Thank you. Right. One of your baby teeth. <laughs> and now my owl gets to do something, right? I believe so at the end of your turn. Yes. I was like, come on, bro. So my come owl, me, what attack do they do? Um, oh, I've got a stat block for you. They make a talent attack. It's a plus three to hit for one slashing damage. Go okay, for it. Cool. Ooh, that's sexy. 14. That's a hit. <gasps> yes. Okay, great. And then <sighs> what damage do I get to roll? It <laughs> just does one damage. Fine. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. One, one could make all the difference. Yeah. We still have, we have all of our... Under Achieva. The owl swoops in. <laughs> it does its one damage. Yeah. Now, your owl does have flyby, so it can actually move away without provoking off attack. So that's kind of the good right. thing it does. Okay, okay, okay. So if I move with Chotu on my shoulder, does that count as his movement or only my movement? <gasps> no, it would just count as your movement. Fantastic. I want to get closer to this, closer to the spider as I can get. What's your movement? Uh, 30 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I want to, uh, you know, uh, poof, transform into mm -hmm. his fantastic regal self. And then I'm going to cast Scorching Ray at first level. Roll to hit. 17 plus 7, so yeah. That's, That's a hit. Wow. Um, and then um, uh, go ahead and roll all three rays at the same time. And we'll just do damage all at once. Uh, those don't hit. Okay. okay, so 2d6, 3d6. 11. Okay. Damage. Now, Chotu, I want him to run to Priya, which mm -hmm. should be 30 feet because she's right with him, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I want him to fiery teleport Priya uh -huh. yes. away from uh, the uh, spider. Perfect. Yes. What is the range on your fiery teleportation? Uh, range to get her or range to... Uh, how far can he teleport after? I think it's only 50. Oh, can he teleport, like, can he teleport her safely to 15 feet uh, above? Is that a thing? Is the tree? Because the tree's hanging low. It might be better to move her okay, this way. Okay, then let's way. move that way. Let's yeah, move her away yeah. from, whatever, 15 feet away. 5, 10, and 15. And let me just confirm that I'm right in this. Fire teleportation, 15 feet, unoccupied Because she's wrapped up, so like if you land, if she, if she doesn't oh, yeah, land yeah, on and the she tree, falls. she could okay, just great. fall. Yeah. Now, each creature within five feet, phase spider, must mm -hmm. succeed on a deck saving throw. A deck saving throw. DC 15. I got a 21. Oh. Never mind. Good Fire job, Chotu. explodes out of Chotu as he whisks Bria away to safety, closer to Le Duanti. As the fire erupts, the face spider brings up one of its mangled legs, still hanging on barely by a thread from the guiding bolt, and shields itself from the flames. Mirka, you're up. Oh, man, finish him. Finish him! Sweep the leg! Nah, <laughs> 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 Actually, is that oh, the top wait, of the round? Didn't I yeah. have a plus? Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Never mind. That okay. is the top of the round. I had a plus. Um, this guy... We have a ceasefire. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I believe we talked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice I believe her friend here uh, sort of uh, charmed uh, you with their ways. <laughs> 60. The archer knocks an arrow into its longbow and actually takes a shot at the phase spider. Thank <laughs> you. Ooh. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't do well. <laughs> um, that's a 12. The first arrow goes wide, steadying his breath as his mount kind of like undulates underneath him. He fires again. <laughs> uh, this time hitting. Um, as the arrow goes out, you notice that it almost has like a little like anchor attached to it. Um, it is more designed to uh, grapple <gasps> than yes. it is to harm. Excellent. Let's see, the spider's gonna make a check to see. <gasps> it got a nat 20. Blows. The bola goes flying through the air, and then w one leg, one new appendage bursts out of one of these Ew. boobos on its back Ew. and intercepts it before it makes contact oh. with its legs. The second archer, uh, there's no way he can hit from this range, and there's no way he can cross the river. He just he comes jump over from here. from to lily pad? Yeah. He comes over here and instead roots his friend on. Aww. <laughs> You does got this, this. Does the spider get disadvantage for just being wicked ugly? No, it actually gives it uh, advantage. This is an Indian game. Yeah. 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 Uh, Marka, you are up. Quick question, carrying something, does that count as an action? No, object interaction is free. Okay, I'm gonna pick up my cannon and I want to walk 30 feet towards the spider. Okay. 30, great. Okay. I am now within. Your let's notebook see is a here. thing of beauty. Right? Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Your notebook is Your notebook gorgeous. Is it's in the most, it's so someone beautiful. Would, well, someone would buy that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they would buy it. Yeah. <laughs> if you pledge at a level. <laughs> 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 oh, I will personally come to your house and write you a beautiful notebook. <laughs> You'll rewrite all of your notes for a physics class. I will. For physics? <laughs> I will. Oh, don't do it. Uh, negative gamma and one two over R one two squared. Um, I am going to uh, hit it with sc uh, Scorching Ray. Gotcha. Roll two. to hit. Okay. Yeah, it's, a, it's a very dependable spell. Uh, that's, uh, that's 12. That's a miss. Uh, that's 11. That's a miss. But this is uh, 12. <laughs> Come on. Ah, I think yeah, that guy might three not be. Three scorching rays. Let's put that guy, um, put that guy away. Would you like another one? <laughs> the three scorching rays come shooting out of your cannon, but anticipating it, the phase spider temporarily blinks out of existence what? and then reforms where it is. It didn't take damage, so it can't give you the action. Would you like to do anything with your bonus action? Uh, my flamethrower is going to uh, take one step closer, so it's within 15 feet, mm -hmm. and blast it with um, some fire. Uh, Dex 14 save. Light work. 17 on the die. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> well met. Nuri, you're up. Okay, so this spider has already dropped. Priya. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and um, Chodu has gotten her 15 feet away to safety. She is still gagged and bound by this thick, like sort of, um, th this silk that has this sort of iridescence to it, this bioluminescence to it, but she is alive and she is out of its mandibles for now. I, I sort of shout as I pick up my things, uh, do we need to, uh, can we just get rid of it or do you need us to defeat it in, in any way? Oh, do you ask yes. like this to Yes. As you say this to him in Abyssal, he says to you, these creatures aren't inherently evil. They are afraid of loud noises. Mm. Mm. Huh. Y'all, we gotta ask more questions. Yeah. But we didn't uh, hear that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we I, 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 I said, uh, <laughs> these creatures are not inherently evil. They <laughs> are afraid of loud noises. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can stop singing at the top yeah. of my lungs. It's a group of bases, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Conversation, then. <laughs> um, I am going to. Uh, I'm going to um, dash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Closer. Yes. Oh Can I make it to? Five, I'm 30. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You're here. Uh huh. 
and then you get another 30? Oh, wait, no. Uh, I do not dash, actually. Okay. I pull out a coiled whip from my side, mm -hmm. and I go whoosh, and uh, use Booming Blade. <gasps> oh! oh. Be able to reach this I won't be able to reach the spider but mm -hmm. it's still going to have uh, it's going to sheath the whatever yes. I hit yes. uh, in booming make energy. a performance check with advantage mm -hmm. since you're yeah. like kind of cracking mm -hmm. this whip in the air yeah. okay cool uh, that's a 17 on the die plus I think three I can actually look that up um, that's a 17 on the die plus four, which is a 21. Ooh, 21. So I pull it out, whip it around my head, and a sheath of thunder just cones down onto the rock in front of me. Yes. Boom! The closed, sort of like this, this thick claustrophobic area you're in, the humidity in the air seems to amplify the sound as it echoes around you, bouncing between the trees, seemingly coming from nowhere and everywhere all at once. The spider skitters for a moment and flees. Mm. Oh, yay! As you exit initiative. Whoa! Oh. Well done, you. Natasha, Yo, I hope you, you were recording more that. languages. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, where's Natasha? You are, Natasha's scared. Poor baby. Okay. All right, everybody, I think uh, that'll be about 30 till moving. Oh, is that uh, right? 30 till move, 30 till move. Just right back to business. Oh, okay, oh, that's, wow. That's, that's that's right. That sounds great. Um, about yeah, I, these other uh, 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 gentle? Oh, right, yeah, the, our compatriots. Right. You are left with the two members of the Rachnid court, one of whom is very skillfully swimming through the water, kind of towards your direction. And the first one, on his phase spider mount, says to you, well met. Well met, friend. Okay, it is game time. Omar, you have 30 seconds to roll a nat 20 with this glorious D20 from our sponsor, Die Hard Dice. Yeah. While I sell the bleep out of them to our viewers. So, okay. I mean, choose your, choose I'm gonna your go weapon with this, of choice. This beautiful shiny okay. one. Here and we go. And remember, if you don't do it, I pull from the Squid of Squalor. Okay, but if I crit within these 30 seconds, yeah. then you have to. Whatever, we don't have to. That's not gonna happen, so it okay. doesn't matter. Here we go. All right. Ready? Yeah. 30 seconds o'clock. Uh huh. Go! Okay, all the dice from Die Hard Dice are designed and handcrafted and are in-house by oh, their alchemists and artificers before they are sent off to production. They take pride in the quality, creativity, intent, and care behind all of their designs. You're not getting it, dude. You think <laughs> everyone does this? They do not, okay? Bunny, These guys right there. No, not slides. That's it. Lies. <laughs> right there. I have so much more to read. <laughs> These guys have to go above and beyond. Double Why? Nothing. Because Die Hard Dice have to do, have to do. <laughs> is comprised of gamers. Their dice are made by TTRPG players for TTRPG players. They make the absolute stop it. <laughs> Here, careful or nothing. Okay, I'm gonna go. You, you take over. You start with whatever that says. <laughs> they go. make these absolutely gorgeous metal ones, but they also make gorgeous polymer sets. I mean, look at these. Three twos in a row. Look at these. Look at these. All right, Sandeep, how'd you do? Oh my God! <laughs> you got last roll. You got it in the end. So what does this mean? We both have to do I don't one. No. <laughs> we both have to do the one we pull. We both have to do the one we pull at the same time. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're doing one we're sh between the two of us. Okay, yeah. all right, here we go. I'm gonna pick this one. I can't believe this. Okay, vicious mocker yourself in the mirror. Okay. Wow, You've been very wearing good. that t-shirt all day. Well, how about just reporting the hair? You're gonna make that a first now. Oh, you're wow, very good. You don't want to hear the news. Screenplay coming along, pal. <laughs> 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 okay, it's okay. It. It's, okay. It's, okay. It's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And it's gonna be okay for you. <laughs> Just go to dieharddice.com and use code DaisyQuest for a, a hot discount. Ooh. Mm -hmm. and that You're gonna write that screenplay. I know. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. It's about a guy who moves home. <laughs> okay, we'll work on the promise. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. You enjoy the relative peace and serenity. The woods now quiet after the echoing crack of Nuri's whip 
You find yourself in the company of these two strangers. Behind you, you hear, now out of the collapsed tent. <clears throat> and there was a spider, and then everyone attacked it. Oh, baby it. girl. And yeah. then, and then now I think that they, they succeeded in their mission. I'll see you later. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find me everywhere at Natasha Kisser Naharika the Seventh. <laughs> um, can I? I'm gonna run over to Priya. Mm -hmm. And while I'm trying to cut her out with my kukri, mm -hmm. I'm going to telepathically just ask, are you okay? Priya, are you there? Can you hear me? Telepathically, you hear back, yes, I'm alive, I think. Okay, great. Just I, just be still, I'll come, I'll, I'm getting you out. I, I want to rush over to, to yeah, there yeah. as well. As you rush over, you begin to feel lightheaded. Oh, yours, who's got yeah, yeah. Uh, Someone needs some... I, I, well, so yes, I'm feeling a little woozy from the, whatever the, the proboscis. Aren't you a doctor? So I am a doctor. I have, I just need to know how Priya is before I cast my lesser restoration on one of us. So. Uh, I think it's safe to do it on you. Um, uh, and I, how fast can I cut her out? I'm cutting, I'm cutting, I'm cutting. Yeah. Okay. You have a magical weapon, right? Yeah. Yes, I have also a haladi. I can. Yeah, you are able with your kukri, kukri, to cut open this, this. And as you do see it, you do notice a little bit of the color has drained from Bria's cheeks. She looks more of a mossy green than her usual sprightly spring green. Oh. Give me a medicine check. Oh, sorry, nineteen. Okay. <laughs> She's poisoned. As a healer, I have to do it on her first. I just, uh, there's no okay, way Okay, go I fast, can't. go fast so we can take care of you. How does he look to me? Is he like ready to pass out? How close are you to Your him? vision is beginning to double. Your temperature is beginning yeah. to rise. So you okay. probably notice some sweat. Which one is she? Uh, <laughs> I just grab him and put his hand on her. <laughs> Perfect. Yep, that feels right. And I, I whisper some mantras and cast lesser restoration. She immediately begins to feel the healing effects of your magic, and the poison condition is removed. Okay, now you, now you. Will you let me cast it again? Yeah, no, you cast it again. Okay. You take four damage in the interim. As you begin to sweat more, and your vision is kind of doubling, you feel your stomach turn, and it feels like you've had some very bad street food. <laughs> Quick question. I have an herbalism kit. Mm -hmm. uh, is that something that I could possibly use for like natural remedies to poison? You can, yeah. If you want to save your spell slot, that's an option. I think it is worth trying. Okay, let's try it. God help us. Uh, guidance, as she points to herself. Ten. You look through the tinctures and components in your herbalism kit. You pull out the one you think will work notice that the vial is empty. Oui. The label stares back at you hauntingly, and you see Rani foil written on it. You feel like this is a very great way to lower someone's temperature, but it gets empty as you pull it out of your kit. Sorry. I think it's best if I use my spell, because uh, it's... Dependable. Feeling great. Dependable. Yeah. You recover from your diseased condition, and you stand with two emissaries from the Rachnid court, treating you with the same respect that you treated them. You shouldn't be here. It's very dangerous. Agreed, but um, we are trying to get to the top of the mountain to awaken Silsalani. Oh. I'm so sorry, I couldn't help but overhear. Um, you said that she hasn't been around recently. I was referring to uh, there are two sisters who dwell in this wood. Oh? Soha and Surya. Twisted by some dark, nefarious magics, me and my people, we defeat them every fortnight, but they always come back. 
And uh, when you defeat them, um, I, oh, by the way, I'm I'm live translating this. Oh, okay, so okay. Like live translating cool, 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 cool. this, uh, oh, like you know, uh, yeah. uh, UN I'm, style, where right. it's like like kind of I'm behind to, behind here, like quietly, uh, telepathically like tell uh, tell Nuri, Nuri um, oh. oh yeah, we might have taken care of that for them this fortnight. Oh, I see, I see, mm. I see. Um, and um, you said somebody had done your work for you. And that's a positive thing, yes. Hmm. Oh, well, then that was this band of adventurers here. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Thank you for doing it once when we've been doing it for decades. Yeah. But yes, you're... Thank you. Can't you, can't you, but did you? I have a question I would love translated. Mm -hmm. That spider could take people to the Feywild. Yes. I've been told my sister and my brother-in-law might be there. Do these people know anything about that? Um, we are looking for uh, members of these, this party's family. I get a rough description from you of what they might be like. Um, I understand that going to the Feywild, often people don't come back. No. Is there a way of... Me and my people, uh, we've learned to tame the phase spider. We are able to move back and forth. Here, the veil between the two worlds is the thinnest. We take it upon ourselves to save these city folk from the things that would tear them apart. For this service that we commit, or if that we perform, for this service of keeping the woods safe, we are branded as heretics, as savages, as barbarians. We are asked to give thanks for being allowed to live in our ancient ways and our customs. And now you want, what, a Sherpa to go to a realm which you are not fit to go to. You're soft and you will perish there. We are not asking for more. We are simply act asking for guidance as to what the safest way would be for us to go. I translate this and I also mm -hmm. add, if you at all would like this group to go about their business, they would love to know a guidance towards the safest path. Do you feel that it is wise for them to pursue this line of inquiry? I see. If we can give you a sort of brand glow up uh, among the people. I, 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 between me and this young lady here, Natasha, uh, we can reach a lot of people and let them know the truth about all of you. That you are doing us a servant service, that you are not barbarians, that we need you to keep the balance between all of the worlds. If we were to offer this to you, which I would gladly do either way. Could you give us any help going there? Not going there yourself, but any help. I will add that whether we like it or not, uh, the new is here to stay. The march of progress carries on without us. Um, so we are going to have to mitigate the ways in which it reaches the old world. I believe that this group can help with that. Make a persuasion try. Mm. Guidance. 17. Plus 1d4. Yes. Plus 17. 19. I suppose you are correct. These creatures so at home in this dark, loamy environment. Although you've been subject to many horrors here, with his like half-closed eyes and the gentle rumble of his voice, you're suddenly aware of how beautiful 
more Bonnie Forest is. And how, even in the decay and decomposition, life thrives for those who are looking for it. You see his mount below him, aptly named Zeher, skittering. And as he gently gives it a pat, you may even notice for a moment she is not quite as grotesque as you originally thought. He takes out a small grub from his pocket and feeds her and says, you're right, things change, lords change. He gestures to the throne, a moss-covered throne. I think if we were to have this rebrand, you would have to rebrand the deity we serve. Tolve. Oh, what do I know about Tolve? You would know that Tolve is the Lord of Flies. He's the keeper of, yeah. He's also, they also call him the, the, the king of rot. Um, he yes. is the keeper of Morbani Forest and Crooked Sun Fort. So is, uh, just, I'm a little confused. Is that mm -hmm. who Namir replaced? Yes. Excellent. Okay, good, mm -hmm. good, good, good. And good. actually, he says this to you. Lord Tolve, and now, Lord Namir. Oh, we would gratefully and, and honestly change the, the way people think of this Lord. He has been kind to us and wise to us, and he was a compatriot of ours until recently. He is a deity worth serving. Tolve was as well. Yes. And he was uh, fooled. Oh, sorry, what, what do you mean by fool? Don't know the tale. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. There was a war long ago. The deities who now hold power were the victors. Mm -hmm. But there was another group that sought to judge mortals once and for all. These two factions fought. Tolve, his family, he wanted them not to be involved in this conflict. So he fell prey to the deception of Rukan. Rukan? Mm -hmm. Is this the Magistratum? Mm. Was one of the warring sides? Mm. They sought to judge people and remove them from the earth, allow nature to overtake it, being unworthy of redemption. But So this Rukan, one of the Magistratum, mm. what... Are they the deity, huh? Mm. They are the deity of righteous justice. Would Rukan be responsible for judging humans and whether or not they live in this realm or the Feywild? Mm. Like your parents? Mm. He is a Justicar. A Justicar. A Justicar? Where do we find him? He was defeated long ago. Mm. They all were, the Magus Thrarum. Oh, the Magus were defeated. The new Minari overthrew them. Ah. Silsala and her siblings won. They have been in power ever since. Do you know why Silsala refuses to come down? Mm. No. I, uh... The... Lofty aspirations of the mountain are not for me and my people. We, we are not welcome. We sometimes trade with the people of the mountain. We can help you get there to the foothills. Yes, we must go. We can lead you through the Mahan Ghat. We may even be able to give you some mounts. But uh, in terms of getting to the top, they find those of us that belong to the court, they find us a bit unsettling. Mm. 
Tove has a, had a bad reputation in recent years since his madness took hold. We have a, a friend here who may be of a particularly persuasive bent towards Silsilan. If you help us get there, we may be able to convince her to come down. I have one more favor to ask. Mm. This young girl has no place being in this much danger. But she does have a particular power to spread messages far and wide. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you could get her to safety, perhaps her own family, while we head to the mountain? As you say this, Natasha comes to you and is like, Auntie, what are you talking about? What if you need my help? Sweetheart, you're going to help so much by spreading the word. We need you to spread the word. We need you to be uh, the teller of tales. We need you to be the keeper of history. This is an important role for us. Hmm? Me? You. Natasha, due to your large platform, you have a responsibility <laughs> to use it properly. You know how Priya has her influence and her wealth and her place in the society. She creates much goodwill by spreading that wealth and generosity. And I can do that? You can do that very easily, yes. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Natasha, before you go, uh, I'm wondering if... You, you, any, you received any messages f from the ones that you sent out for me? Yeah. Um, I have a message from Abhi. <gasps> could you, could I see? Well, it's a written message, but he says he loves you and misses you very much. And also one from your parents, and they said that they need to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Uh-oh. They, they said, um, we need to talk, period. Mm. <gasps> caps? Just a period. Lowercase. Just a period. <laughs> Just a period. <laughs> That's a important. Is, caps or lowercase? Was it all caps? It, it was um, all caps. Oy, oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, but that is also standard. That's how I talk. That's, That's true. true. They That's might have true. not known how to make take it, it off. off. Caps, I okay. think it's possible. They yeah, could have just yeah. not known how to take it off the caps. Uh, but anyway, can you read me the one from Abby again? I love you and I miss you. Hmm. Thank you. If there's any way to demonstrate uh, like a, that I liked that message or loved it in some capacity, I would prefer that you go ahead and do that, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Maybe if you can respond with some series of moving pictures. Mm. Oh, I could probably conjure something, a little minor image. Do you see how important you are? <gasps> do you see the good you do? <gasps> mm. <laughs> you connect generations. Yeah, even really old, out-of-date ones like yours. Even that. Okay. Yeah! Okay, well. <laughs> uh, Nani, don't be sad. I'm sure you'll learn to use a sending stone one day. Well, actually, I have a question. Uh, you know, maybe it's stupid, so... Um, but, you know, I, I have a small business. And, <gasps> you know, I, I, it seems like you're doing a lot of, you know, advertising. And <laughs> so, I don't know. If, you know, if you want to, like, you could promote me something, like, you know, like, or you could make me, I don't know, it's too bad. You can make to give us, give us some of her laddus. Yeah, she, she might, yeah, she yeah, might yeah. like them. I mean, yeah, yeah. PR? Young, young, people yes. are, young people are dieting. Do you want laddu? Maybe there's that a gluten-free version. You say to an elephant. This is why yeah. auntie needs Your skin marketer. and bones, you don't need laddu. <laughs> huh? You're saying this to the elephant yeah, girl? Yeah. <laughs> I... I love Ladu, they're my favorite. I've been told I'm, by physicians I need to not eat as many Ladu. Don't tell your physician's that. You should always be eating all the time. Exactly, and these are excellent Ladu. They are very good for you, very helpful. Make sure to include that when you share that with... And I don't have a page or anything, so I don't know what you do, but, you know, you could make me a page and you Tell them the password and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and make it simple, not something crazy. Sure, I've written down some copy for you. Excellent. Yes. Some, some approved language. Okay, but uh, I approve for, it. 
Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> just just a couple, just maybe three, you know, over the course, uh, metered out of the course of a week. Mm. Yes? Mm. All mm. right. But also, um, how should I say this? The older generation has some wisdom for you as well. So please be sure to keep your mind open to learning things as you disseminate information. Okay. I'll try. Maybe write things down before you say them sometimes. Oh. And just That's a good idea, it, auntie. Sit on it. It's like a 24-hour rule yes. is really generally a good okay. idea. Yes, and generally size up. Because, you know, you don't want your clothes to be too tight. It's a slightly different conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Sci two sizes up. Shoes, shirts, pants. <laughs> Hair, one plait. You're good. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, just going to, I'm just going to say in her head, OK, now go. Save yourself. <laughs> no, boys. Drink water. Go to bed yes, at 7. Yes, go. <laughs> <laughs> I've changed my attention to the uh, the goblins. And yes. As, mm. uh, is, so these mounts you speak of, uh, is there something we can offer of, for you, f to you for them? No. We just ask that uh, you not harm the creatures here. You show them the same respect that you would show anyone else living here. This is their home. Speaking of which, I just want to formally apologize <laughs> for <laughs> using a flamethrower uh, Eldritch Cannon against you. Uh, and I hope that this makes things okay. And I take out a little wad of cash. Oh, God. And just kind of... I take, I, take, I take the cash and I pull out a little gift basket of grubs. Yes, <laughs> there we go. And okay. a bag of Ludoo. <laughs> <laughs> This is a little bit more in keeping with, like, what they... Mm. Did, did you just have a, a bag of grubs on you? Yes. <laughs> Murkart, know your yeah. audience, darling. Know your audience. You can give me cash anytime you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> why do you... Why do you try to solve your problems with... Pieces of paper. Uh, I don't know standard social conventions, I guess. A uh, heartfelt condolence or apology will always be more than arbitrary wealth. In that case, I'm sorry that I used a weapon before uh, getting to know you both. All, uh, all three of you. Maybe you should touch the f all eight feet of the... <laughs> <laughs> a very good blessing. Bless just, your the spider's you know, probably older than you. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> good time. Absolutely, of course. Yeah. And then I go to touch their feet and the feet Obviously of the spider. Obviously the spider's not going to be... Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give me. This is no. This is a good gesture. Yes, I think this, is, this is very. It's customary in their culture mm -hmm. to touch feet. Yeah. No. In, in this so culture, we'll like. Oh, yeah. 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 touch feet as a yeah. You go to touch um, uh -huh. Multan's feet, mm -hmm. who's the <laughs> goblin you've been speaking with. Uh -huh. He like stops you immediately. Oh. Like oh. Mm. And then you go and to touch yeah. Zeher's feet. Yeah. I've learned that's a good um, thing. When they stop them, it's yes, just, that's yes. the and right as boundaries. You, yes. As you touch her feet, uh -huh. you oh. notice she has beautiful purple eyes and like eyelashes across <gasps> her multiple eyes. Oh. Like kind of like a jumping spider. And she skitters at you a little uh, bit oh. and then rubs one foot on your head. Take <gasps> oh. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, thank you <laughs> very much. He hops down off of Zeher and says, I suppose, uh, pats her on the, on the rump a little bit. I suppose 
You can borrow her. <gasps> I have other mounts. Oh, she I, I you. wouldn't want to. Well, I wouldn't want to impose. I, I, she like scuttles up to you and does like that. Hey. Oh, is it? This is a choice, not an imposition. Uh, well, in that case, uh, you don't gotta tell me once, <laughs> and I'll uh, do, do, okay. climb aboard the spider. <laughs> what, what is your name? Zahed. 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 How many of us can ride on, on one spider? One. They okay. are pretty small. Okay. But there are other mounts that he's agreed to provide for all of you. Yeah, cool. Well, well until we get cool there, uh, the rest of you losers walk. <laughs> Let's go, Zahar. <laughs> she scatters off. <laughs> They're moving over the terrain with a ridiculous speed. Whoa. Give me a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm gonna use the Abria die, I guess. In case it goes bad, we can blame her. Mm. <laughs> oh no, she can't. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> oh, an eight. Okay. Yeah. As Zeher skitters <laughs> along, she finds pockets in time and space to navigate, ducking almost upside down under the river for a moment. You see a realm perfectly transposed under ours. You see a horned being with a long tongue that its eyes kind of swirling as it gazes at you and then you're back in the forest, several feet ahead of where you were. Did we know, did we see that? You see the two of them zip in and out. Mm. Murka, you take, although, you, like I said, you're moving yeah. very fast, you take three psychic damage That's as okay. the head continues to blip in and out of existence. Oh goodness, so cool. Being able to traverse between these two realms with ease, carrying you along. In the meanwhile, Multan brings the rest of you a phase spider of your own. Cool. <laughs> Oh, I want one. I passed Speak With Animals. You immediately hear four excited voices. Oh, hello. The first one comes up and says, Good day. Oh. Good day to you. I'm Kuja. Kuja. I'm Sitara. Thank you for helping me and my friends. Um, All right, then. Right, uh, I suppose we'll take it rather fast. Okay, so just pop on back there. Okay. Watch that leg. That one's still bruised. Right. Adventurer tried to slice it off. Right, <gasps> asshole. Oh, goodness. Um, what are the other friends' names so I can tell my... Uh, yeah, which one is this one that's Tear, eating the... Chaku, Pani. <gasps> oh, Pani. Chaku is eating this pretzel from my hand. <laughs> okay, well, Chaku it is for you. <laughs> you like Barney. Oh, drink plenty yeah. of Barney. <laughs> <laughs> that one's a real drink, tall drink of water. And mm -hmm. then we have Zeher. <laughs> phrase we use in our land. Uh, so that was Multan talking? No, that was Kuja talking to me. We have mm -hmm. Zeher, Multan, Kuja, Tir, Chaku, and Barney. We have six. Chaku. No, Multan's the name of the goblin. Oh, Multan's the name of the goblin. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Great, okay. Okay. Um, so, okay. You're putting jump balls on Bonnie? <laughs> so her feet are protected? Uh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. You would hear Bonnie's the shy one. Uh-huh. And she's more like down here, and she's like, oh my god. I'm gonna try not to get you eaten when we go out to the river, uh -huh. but it might happen. Oh. Uh, Auntie, ba Barney likes you very much and oh. says thank you. Good. Let's not scare her. That's what I thought. <laughs> Jacko is like, after I finish devouring this pretzel, I will devour this small Benares man. No, 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 if you don't What's mind. What's he saying? I, 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 we actually need this small Benares man. He's a friend of mine. Oh, if you could maybe stave off your appetite, I bet he could give you another one of these delicious pretzels I that you love so much. This one is stale. Uh, it makes me want to drive my mandibles through its weak torso. Right, so do you have I, any fresh ones? I think he likes me. Yeah, do you have any fresh pretzels? Fresh oh, pretzels, anything good? Yes, I've got some fresh, uh, yeah, there's a whole different strain Wonderful. in this Wonderful, yes, anything uh, that's good. Great. Right. Uh, hand it to him, yeah. Uh, here you go, Chaku. <laughs> Make an animal handling oh, check. Oh, God. <laughs> Dragons. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, I'll use my real dice star. Don't look at that number. Okay. 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 Seventeen. Okay. Okay. Oh. Five is twenty-three plus your guidance. 
No, it's fine. 17 plus five. Yeah. <laughs> you, it, it very skillfully texts the pretzel off your hand. You want, you hear skittering. You hear, you have bought your life for a small sum of time. <laughs> well done. Oh, good, yay! Yes. Oh, <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> right. Don't push it, don't push oh, it. Right. Gently, gently. Dear, I guess all this left is dear, and that is for you. Oh my gosh, I got these sandals. They're so pretty. <laughs> you are getting my auntie. She's my favorite person in the world. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm a little sleepy. We'll see how well I do on this journey. Oh. I'd rather be at home right now. Do you need, she has chai. I feed this spider masal chai. Yeah. It is spicy. It is so sweet. It has fresh milk in it somehow. Fresh <laughs> like mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, I ask for tears. Uh, likes, dislikes, any allergies? Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Preferred kind of music. Anything you need, dear? Uh, like on Aero I Fly Street. Excellent. So, uh, uh, hold on tight. Mmm. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I speak with uh, Multan and his mm -hmm. friend. Uh, you know, while, while everybody's mounting up, um, I ask about I, I the version of the play, the 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 battle of good versus evil uh, that is performed every year. Silsalon uh, and uh, mm -hmm. participates. Um, but it is mildly different than the version that I heard from you just now. Mm. It's fascinating. Yes. Um, I think a lot of people don't know that Silsalan, even though she represents chaos, she also represents uh, the wild freedom that is living, truly living. And the festival of Rangali, she is only symbolically defeated so that discipline may reign supreme, but not so that judgment will, because judgment divides. Hmm. Whereas uh, Rukan, divides. Still, so Salan agrees to lose in this battle to bring people together. Many of her followers and representatives are thieves or uh, are, uh, those who study the arcane, people who seek to twist or to control mm. chaos. In some ways, that is why I am a de devotee of hers, mm. because that understanding of disorder leads to much better control and um, moderation and balance. Mm. I think at least a thief is honest. Mm. A thief knows that he is stealing. I think we are all thieves. Order and judgment are definitely not the same things. No. Judgment is imposed. Order is something that works with chaos, much as I work with Silsalan. It is a scale. For me to do my job, you must do yours. For you to do your job, I must do mine. In a way, we are different sides of a scale. Without one, the other will fall. Without the other, the other one is left suspended in a height from which they can no longer see clearly the ground and everything around them. My deities often keep me in the city 
working on the production year round, but I would very much love if you could ever visit or if I would be allowed to visit here with you. Um, it is, it would be beneficial for both of us to understand our counterparts. And besides, I believe that Natasha might need some guidance as to how best to rebrand hmm. in the way that you wish. Many times we sell fabrics, silks, garments, woven from the face spider silk to people in the towns, but we have to do so under other guises because people don't wish to do business with us. To carry out our business openly, maybe people would respect our craft more. Well, I hope that there will be a cultural shift thanks to better PR, thanks to uh, more of an effort on the, on the part of the townsfolk to reach out and learn. Yeah. I must admit, when I first saw you, I thought she has, uh, I don't know if you have this phrase, where you come from, she has a giant stick. Stick up my ass, yes. That's quite a but, common phrase. But you wield the stick to help people. And you are not as harsh as you seem. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And thank you so much for your help with my friends. I, even though I've just met them, they seem different than many other inventing parties in that they are constantly learning and trying to do mm. their best in all the little ways that they can. I was gonna say they seem green, but this is a nicer way to say it. Mm. Don't get my spiders killed or I will find you and uh, I will tie you up and I will cover you in honey and that I will lovely. let the beasts and insects of the forest feast on you over a period of days. Since we have no idea what you're saying, I'm just going to... There is a scratch on any of my mounts. This is what you have to look forward to. And he uh -huh. smiles at all of you. Uh -huh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one who probably really understands what he's yeah. saying. The rest of you just see a smile. Yeah, and we just. Uh, yeah. I think I heard the word uh, ass stick. That oh, I heard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I love that I'm those learning. are the words that you that you know. That's impressive. I'm learning. Um, uh, uh, what about Priya? Yeah, Priya's like still recovering. <laughs> okay. Huh. Yes. Uh, are you coming with us, or are you heading home? Oh, I can just summon a steed. Wonderful. I think it's best uh, you take some time to recover, and perhaps you can um, also accompany Natasha to her uh, family along with these fellows. She like claps and then puts two fingers in her mouth and whistles, and you see a spectral Bengal tiger come bounding out. Ooh. Okay, stop showing off. <laughs> wow, steed is a very different word in my language. You <laughs> not see a Bengal tiger coming. Cool. What do you ride on? I'm riding on a spider right now. No, but like a steed. What else do you think a steed is? Oh, ew, we ride on horses. Ew, they... why would you? Hmm? The hooves? Yes, they have hooves, right? Oh. Yeah, it's like they're chuckles. I don't think it would last half a second. No, we have to put these uh, shoes on them. Kind of like chuckles, yeah? Yeah. Uh, they're iron. Uh, less powerful. Let's check like the letter U. I feel like a horse would just be killed in 13 seconds in the Very forest. Weak. Very weak. Perhaps a war horse, no? Yeah, we put armor on them sometimes. Yeah. Why would you do that? Because uh... I guess they're kind of weak. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. So... This is just me attacking Rhea at this point. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you again. Uh, I hope you feel better. Mm. I'm sure we'll see each other again. I have my ways of, well, catching up with you. <laughs> so we've noticed. Uh, Thank you. Uh, I just want to make one more insight check. I just, mm, something's off. Mm -hmm. I just want to, yeah. Maybe it's just I still don't trust her, I don't know. Mm -hmm. 18. 18. Yeah, you notice she's like a little probably miffed to be on babysitting duty. <gasps> mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for taking Natasha. She. 
She's very important to this mission, you know. Without her spreading the word, we don't have any way to get to the mountain. And what you're doing means a lot, sister. I suppose I understand. Thank you. All right, Nuri, I leave them in your capable hands. I'm sure you'll be able to manage them. Thank you. There should be uh, food delivered for you at your place. Oh. You're just on top of everything. Right. Absolutely, I am. Mm. All right, giddy up! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I, oh, I told him to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you give your spider a, a kick. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. One one leg comes slapping out at you. <laughs> like a reflex. Like a, like yeah. A yeah, just, I just assume it's my tail, so it's fine. Yeah, it's like it's like a backhand. It's just yeah. amazing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Another mock to the face. Well, Duante has never been on an animal in her entire life. This feels mm -hmm. insane, and she's having a blast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For while the ten minutes amazing. Peter's off. You do hear the spiders clitter clattering as they carry you through more Pawnee Forest. You hear Pawnee just the entire time going, Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Well, I did get poison. Yeah. Yeah, in fairness, he is deceased. And that'll be where we break because I need to pee. Yeah. Amit Chaffee. Yeah, dude. We love you. Archon? Archon? That's a full that's the full name. It's like Cher. It's just like a one name person. Darshina D. My goodness. Oh yeah. Well, hair has gotten a little bit longer. I haven't cut it. Uh, but then when I trim it, I will travel back through time in a way. I would sort of be remiss. It's actually kind of glaring that I haven't really said anything about Casey Marsh yet. So thank you. Thank you. Mega Matzilla? Yeah. Oh, best name ever, dude. Thank you so much for contributing. Minty! Oh, man, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Remember when we used to quote that uh, from Star Wars?